on this worksheet 6.4 it's the same thing as 6.3 the only difference is that we're going to be uh, manipulating either one or more equation so again this is called the elimination method because you either want the x's to eliminate or the y's to eliminate so in this case would it be easier to cancel out the x's or the y's the y's now why is that well if you wanted to cancel out the x's you would have to uh, change the 2x to become a 6x and you'd have to change the 3 to become a negative 6x so that would require modifying two equations so it'd be easier to just get rid of the y's by simply multiplying your top equation by negative 2 now why negative 2 well because the negative 2 times negative y will make it a positive 2y which will cancel with the negative 2y so the top equation is going to become negative 4x and then plus 2y and then equals positive 2. Now the bottom equation we're just going to leave exactly the way it is, 3x minus 2y equals 1. And now we're able to combine the lines, that's why we call them linear combinations, and we're able to eliminate the y's. So when you combine the lines, a negative 4x plus 3x, that's a negative 1x, bring down the equal sign. 2 plus 1 is 3. So now you have a simple one-step equation to solve, and all you have to do is divide by negative 1, and your answer will be x equals negative 3. That's one answer. If you want the other answer, all you got to do is plug it into any equation you want. I want to go for the uh, bottom equation. You can do the top if you want. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to rewrite the bottom equation, 3x, but instead of x, I'm putting parentheses, minus 2y equals 1. So inside the x parentheses I'm plugging in the negative 3 and if I work this out I'll have negative 9 minus 2y, let me erase that, minus 2y equals 1 and of course you're gonna add 9 to both sides so you're gonna end up with a negative 2y equals 10 which means that y equals what? y equals negative 5 so your complete answer for number one is the coordinate negative three comma negative five. Go ahead and check the answer on the back side of this page and you'll see that it is correct. Now if you are taking the quiz and you have time left over I would definitely plug in the x value of negative three into the x, the y value of negative five into the y and see if it actually gives you a true statement and it equals negative one. Plug in the x for this x, plug in the negative five for that y Work it out, see if it actually gives you positive 1. So that's a way to double check and to be absolutely positive that you have the right answers on a quiz. Now, this one was fairly easy because we were able to just change uh, one equation and get something to cancel. Sometimes you're going to be forced to, to, to change both equations. For example, number 5, if you wanted to cancel out x's, you'd have to change this to become a positive uh, what? positive 15 and this would have to change to become a negative 15 right so you might be thinking well it's probably easier to cancel out y's but the y's also you can't change 2 to become a 3 so you'd actually have to manipulate both equations anyway um, so which one do you think is easier to get rid of the x's or the y's the y's are a little bit easier I would say because the numbers are smaller than 3 and 5, it's 2 and 3. Not only that, one's already positive, one's already negative. So let's, with the goal in mind, trying to get rid of the y's here, let's change this to a positive 6y and a negative 6y. So how am I going to change this 2 to become a positive 6y? I'm going to multiply by 3. Because I want it, I, like I said, I want this to become a 6y. I want this to become a 6y because this is already a negative. I'll make this a negative 6y. So I'm going to distribute the 3 and get a new equation up top. And that'll be 9x plus 6y equals negative 27. And the bottom equation, I'm going to multiply everything by 2. That way I'll get a negative 6y in the middle. So 2 times 5x is 10x. 2 times negative 3y is negative 6y. And 2 times 4 is 8. And now we're ready to combine the lines and eliminate the y's. 
So in this case, th like this is hard as it gets where you have to man manipulate both equations. So in this case, I change the top equation, I change the bottom equation. Now I'm able to combine the lines and cancel out the y's. And as I look down here, I get 19x. I'm kind of nervous because 19 is not a nice number. But when I do negative 27 plus 8, I get a negative 19 also. So it actually does work out very nicely because this single step equation, all I have to do is divide by 19, divide by 19, and I'll get my final answer, x equals negative 1. Now once I have one answer, all I got to do is plug it into any equation I want and find y. So which one, top or bottom? It doesn't really matter. I'm going to go with, uh, I think I did bottom last time. Let me go with top this time. So on top, it says uh, 3x. So I'm going to write 3, but instead of x, I'm going to put parentheses. Plus 2y, plus 2y equals negative 9. Once again, I just copied it. 3x, the top equation, 3x, there's 3x. Plus 2y, plus 2y equals negative 9, equals negative 9. But instead of x, I put parentheses. Why? Because there's the x value right here. I'm going to take this negative 1. And I'm going to plug it in right there into the parentheses. There's a negative 1 in there now. So 3 times negative 1, that's negative 3, plus 2y equals negative 9. And now let's solve this thing by adding 3 to both sides, plus 3, plus 3. You're going to end up with 2y equals negative 6. Correct? Which means that our final answer is going to be y equals, when you divide both sides by 2, you get y equals negative 3. As a coordinate, your answer will look like parenthesis negative 1, comma, negative 3. What that means is if you were to graph this line on an xy plane, graph this line on an xy plane, they will intersect at negative 1, negative 3.